place the encoding IC. Just connect pin 1 to pin 9. Then all this pin will be connected to the ground. The ADO to AD3 will be connected to the momentary switch. So let's connect first the ADO to the momentary switch. Then connect AD1 to another momentary switch. Then connect AD2 to another momentary switch. Then again, connect AD3 to another momentary switch. Then all the opposite sides of the momentary switch will be connected to the ground. Pin 14, which is TE, the transmission enable, must be connected to the ground. Oscillator 2 and oscillator 1 will be connected to 1 mega ohms resistor. Then connect the data out to the data in of the transmitter. Then connect pin 18 of the IC and the BCC at middle pin of the transmitter. Then connect both to pipe board power supply. Now let's place the encoding IC or the receiver IC. Then connect A0 to A7 and pin 9 to the ground. D1 to D4 will be connected to the load. In this case, we will use the LED light. So let's start from DO. Connect the negative LED to the DO and connect the anode of the LED to 100 ohms resistor and connect the opposite side of the resistor to pipe bolt. Then D1 will be connected to another negative side of the LED and the opposite side of the LED will be connected to the resistor and the opposite side of the resistor will be connected to the power supply. Then again, connect D2 to another LED to the negative side of the LED and connect the opposite side of the LED to the resistor then connect the resistor to the battery. Then again, D3 will be connected to the negative side of the another LED and the anode of the LED will be connected to the resistor. Then the opposite side of the resistor will be connected to the positive side of the battery. Connect the data out from the receiver and connect to pin 14 from the decoding IC. Then connect 51K resistor from oscillator 2 and the opposite side connected to the oscillator 1. Then connect BT, the verified transmission, at pin 17 to 100 ohms resistor. Then connect the opposite side of the resistor to the negative side of the LED. Then connect the positive side of the LED to the positive 
side of the battery. Then connect pin 18 of the recording IC to pin 1 of the receiver and connect to positive 5 volt and connect the last pin of the receiver to the ground. Now, let me try to press the button 1. Let press the button 2. Then, try to press the button 3. Then, let's try the last button. Now, you can press any button to turn off any LED color. So, let's try press the button to, to turn off the green LED. As you can see, the green LED will be cut off. So let's try the button one. Now you can see the blue LED will be disappear. So now let's try to turn off the yellow LED simply by pressing the button four. Only the red light will be remaining to turn off the red LED by pressing the button 3. In this tutorial, you will learn how to make step-by-step -step radio frequency remote control and the receiver. My next video, which is the part two of this video, we will explain how the decoding and encoding IC working together. So let's test the circuit diagram in the actual circuit. Well